hello yeah in this video i'll be showing you how to run your first php app in the process we are going to build this simple form and connect it to a mysql database before we start uh, make sure you have xam installed and running a vs code i have videos on how to install xam and vs code in case you don't know how to do to install them i'll leave them in the description below so let's get started So yeah, I'll open the XAMPP folder, which is located in my drive C. So our folder of interest is um, HT dots. Open it. Yeah, uh, I'll create uh, our project folder. I'll call it first app. First app. So next, I'll open VS Code. I'll just type VS to come up. I'll click open. And see, you can see here my XAMPP XAM is running. Okay, now VS Studio Code is open. I'll click here and select the folder which I created earlier. Click here. It is um in HT dot my first app. I'll open, open. So now it's open. I'll create a a file here in the folder. Click here to create a file. I'll name it index dot php. Enter. So yeah, now I'll just type DOC and tab, press tab on Windows. So it creates um, HTML template. So yeah, here I'll just type form, tab. I'll give it an action of um, process, process form dot PHP. I'll give it a method of post method of post so yeah I'll say label tab I'll say for name I'll say name enter input tab so the input type here will be text now give it a name name of name of name so I give it an ID. I say ID of name. Yep. So next I'll create another label. So tap, I'll give it a for I'll say email. Email, I will say name, name equals to email. I'll say ID equal to email so i'll say require just need to write to require here require so the next now if excuse me not require here it's a mistake yes for this here enter inputs here is email. I give it a name of email ID of email. So I say require require next I'll say input input of type submit. Submit, I'll say um, value. The value be equals to, I'll just say submit. Submit. So now save. Um, yeah, I'll just put um, auto complete. Equal to off. Yes, off. I don't want auto complete. Save. So now let's check our form. To check our form just type here localhost slash the name of our folder which is first app first app so now yeah this is our form now it is without style so now let's go and add this one apply some css to make it look good so for that i'll just copy the style here the css and paste i'll go here under after this 
um, document, I'll just type here yeah, star tap and tap and paste our star and to save save it then go now and check refresh the page so yeah this is our form now the next will be to connect it to a database so to do that i'll create a database i'll just type localhost enter i'll click on php my admin Yeah, um, yeah, I'll create a database, a new database. I'll call it, um, I'll call it first app, first underscore app. Okay, save, quit. Okay, it's created. I'll create our table now. I'll say user details will be the name of the table, column number of columns will be three. I'll say create. So, yeah, I'll put ID, score, yeah, I'll say. ID, I'll click here auto increment, auto increment. The ID has to be auto incremented. So, yeah, primary. Next, I'll create um, a column to store the user, the name, name column. I'll call it name. The type is a vac, a variable character. I give it a length of that. Since this one is an ID, an integer, it's an integer. There's no need to put any value, I'll just leave it blank. So, yeah, I'll create email. Email, I will give a value type of variable character. I just give it type of 255. So we are done. I'll click on save to create our table. Save. So yeah, our table has been created. Sorry. So yeah, this is how it looks. Now it's empty. There's no data in it. So okay, let's go and, and make sure that let's go and continue. So now to make sure that when the form is submitted, the data is actually submitted into a database. We need to um do some PHP, we need to add some PHP code. So if you check our form here, if you see here, we say process form.php. That means when the submit button is clicked, all the inputs of the input form will be sent to this form process.php. Let me create the form now. The previous let me create the file, excuse me. The process.php file. Copy and create a file. So here enter so for the code i'll just copy the code and paste then explain you see the code is well commented so it's easy to, to understand and i will leave the a link to the source code so you can download go through it so yeah basically it says if the form is submitted now you need to store this the, the values the name this form here this the value of this input type name will be stored here in this value name email will be stored in this value email so perform now here we'll perform some validations perform some sanitization, um, validation and sanitization here the next part of it is to validate to make sure that whatever is inputted the the into the email field is actually a valid email following the, the the email format so the next here is the database connection configuration here yeah, the host name is localhost yeah uh, the username is root these are default um, data uh, information if let's say had uh, your own configured you put the information for your database so the password the, it has no password my database has no password which is a default so my database name is um it's a um, first underscore app think so let me verify to make sure that it's actually it let me see okay yeah first underscore app so that's it so make sure it corresp correspond the information correspond with the with that of your database so the whole the, the, the host name is localhost root and password is blank then the name of the database is that so yeah the next one is to create, create a new mysql instance it's a new you put all these values here put them here and check if there's a connection if there's no connection it's going to give you an error probably if you make a mistake yeah if let's say for example instead of saying root i put roots control save let's let me try it if i say roots uh, let me see refresh if i pull let me just say test uh, test at gmail.com 
I say submit. Says yeah. I says denied for user root. So it's giving me this error because actually it's not root. It's it's not root with s. It's root. So let me change that. Um, control save to root. So if you see here, um, let me go through everything. Prepare statement. You say insert into user underscore details. This is a table name. So this name here is the name of the column of the table column name email so the table has three columns id there's no need to input the id here so that's why it's not it's omitted you just need a name and email address so you have prepare statement and the rest my parameters this so basically this in, in name and email address are strings that's why we have ss here so if everything is submitted successfully you have a message data inserted into a database successfully they have a link to go back to the main page so yeah yeah we'll change it to index index control save index again yeah index control save so now let's test our app let's test and see okay we are refresh. Okay, data has been set successfully. If you check here, since everything is working, I've checked the data has been set. Let's check our table now. You see the test that the information was inserted. Let's go back and click here back. So now let me try another with my own information. I'll say Edmond. Edmond tap. Um, let me see. Ed. At gmail.com I say click submit so yeah you see data inserted successfully let's check the database and see let I refresh here we see that yeah the data was inserted successfully so uh the our form is working so yeah this is how you can build and run your PHP application thanks for watching and see you in the next video